Tahafe led her Eastside Prep Panthers in a big second half comeback over the Village Christian Crusaders. And then Jadi Smith followed suit, carrying his St. Joseph's Notre Dame Pilots to a close crunch time victory over the Vikings of St. Bernard. Will the Dork House sweep continue? Find out next as Sacred Heart Cathedral takes on Lakeside. Sacramento, you look at the state capitol. We are at the Sleep Train Arena. We move now to the Division Three Girls Championship. It'll be Lakeside representing South Southern California, Sacred Heart Cathedral representing NorCal. Hi again, everybody. Barry Tompkins, Mary Murphy alongside. And this is going to be another one of those games where Lakeside comes in here an underdog. But you know what? They've been an underdog all year and keep winning. That's absolutely. They beat four higher seeds to get here. They've never been to the state final. And when you look at Sacred Heart Cathedral, they've been here before. They are the number one seed, so the expectation is they'd go home the winner. We'll right, see. Let's talk about Lakeside for a moment. Emma Mayweather, even though they are some of the parts, Emma Mayweather, one of their leaders. Absolutely. In recent games, had a triple-double. She can get it done in the paint. She's 6'4". to Sacramento, California. We are at the Sleep Train Arena. Final time. The CIF State Basketball Championships will be held in this venerable old place. Let's take a look at what's on tap. Full day, full night of action for you. We begin here in the Girls Division 5 Championships. It'll be Village Christian out of Southern California. East Side Prep representing Northern California. The Boys Division 5 will follow. St. Bernard's of Southern California. St. Joseph's of Alameda representing Northern California. Then the girls D3, it'll be Lakeside out of the south, Sacred Heart Cathedral out of the north. Tonight, boys, Division 3, Ayala and Manteca. Then the girls, Division 1 follows that, Brea Linda versus St. Francis. And the boys, Division 1 will wrap up the evening. It'll be Crespi against Berkeley. And hello again, everybody. I'm Barry Tompkins once more with my partner, Mary Murphy. And Mary, what's great about both this day and Saturday, one championship after another, Cinderella all the way around. Exactly right. Whether you've been here before or never been here, you can feel the excitement growing. It's going to be here in Sacramento all weekend long, and we're glad to be a part of it. All right, let's talk about our first game, Village Christian and Eastside Prep. For Village Christian, as Leslie Aguilar goes, so goes Village Christian. Absolutely. A team that's never been to the state finals. They're excited to be here. And this is a guard that does it all. At 5'7", the sophomore scores, boards, assists, steals, and she does a terrific job of getting to the free throw line. All right, let's talk about Eastside Prep for a moment. They want to run the ball up and down the floor. They only have seven players, but they get it done, and it's a sophomore that leads them, Kayla Tahafe. And she does a terrific job. Played in the championship game a year ago as a freshman. Crafty, attacking earlier this year. She had 35 points. They need big numbers from her this morning. And what a story they are. They only have seven players, as we said. They don't have any seniors. And you know what? They don't have any juniors. All freshmen and sophomores. You talk about Cinderella. They're hoping to step into the slipper today. When it comes to pizza, always make it Mountain Mike's. Who wants Mountain Mike's? I do. I do. I'll get the coupon. Don't waste valuable time looking for coupons. I'll check my purse, you check the mail. Visit mountainmikes.com and see all the specials in your area in one easy place. When you want the best tasting pizza with only the freshest ingredients, real cheese, and loaded with your favorite toppings, make it Mountain Mike's. Mountain Mike's. Mountain Mike's Pizza, the way it ought to be. There are a lot of entertainment providers claiming to have the best service, but when all of their ads are saying the same thing, what can you believe? Here's an idea. Don't believe any of it. See for yourself. Introducing the Xfinity X1 Challenge. Let's find out which service is better. Yours or Xfinity X1? X1 has the easiest search, recommendations, and a remote that you can actually speak into. But don't take my word for it. Take the X1 Challenge. Upgrade and see how Xfinity X1 stacks up. Call or visit Xfinity.com slash challenge. Sleep Train Arena. We get started on a long day and long night.
night, which continues on into Saturday here in the State High School Championships. Here are the lineups for our first game of the afternoon. Village Christian will begin with Avery O'Neill. Isel Santiago will not start. Peyton Ruiz will get that start. And there she is. Leslie Aguilar, Michaela Cacho, Cacho, or rather Cacho Negrete, Rihanna Bay, Kayla Tahapi, about whom we spoke, Kayla Mahan, Alea Bell, and Zion Gabriel for Eastside Prep. Let's meet the third member of our broadcast team before we get started. Here's Drew Schiller. Drew? Well, 10 a.m. is an unusual time for a basketball game. So as these teams were warming up, I asked the coaches if they changed up their routines this week to prepare for the early start. Eastside Prep head coach Donovan Bly said he did not have to change a thing at all because his team has been practicing at 5.45 a.m. all season long, so they are used to this. And the Panthers played in this game a year ago. Village Christian head coach John Sampang had somewhat of a different answer. He said he began scheduling practices as early as 6 a.m. just within the last couple of weeks to prepare his team for this very moment. So, Barry and Mary, did you guys do anything different this week to prepare for the early start? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. I went to bed at uh, 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. <laughs> I set three different alarms to make sure they'd go off this morning. <laughs> So we have a little stutter step to start things here, and uh, immediately a substitution comes on for Village Christian as Mercy Odima comes in, and Isel Santiago, who did get the starting call, will leave. That is B Rihanna Bay. Rihanna Bay, I beg your pardon. To the basket with the right hand and missing that shot was Alea Bell and the rebound down to Eastside Prep. This is Leslie Aguilar. It's gonna be important for Village Christian to really take advantage of their size. It's not something Eastside College Prep has a lot of. That's a really interesting matchup because really it is the size of Village Christian, the speed of Eastside Prep. And all that experience for Eastside because they were here a year ago. They are extremely focused. They lost that championship game by four points. Talked to coach before the game, and he said they have been focused all season long on getting here and getting the win. A little bit of a case of nerves, I think, for both teams early in this game. This is Odima down low. Big size advantage. The shot clock went off, but the basket is good. She has worked so hard on that footwork, and you saw it there. Committed to the inside, then the drop step to the baseline. On the floor, all the way to the basket, too hard with the shot that time was Tahafi. This is Leslie Aguilar, a real steadying factor on this Village Christian team. Drop this down for Odima again. Odima looks like she can make that catch almost every time. And it looks like the game plan is to get it to her every time, and why not? It's a very NBA approach. If something's working, keep going to it. Absolutely. This is to half a and they throw it away. So Eastside Prep having a little trouble getting on track here. The 6'4 junior, nice little drop step, and then here's the second one. Earlier this year, she had 29 points. Reads the defense beautifully here. Well done. Other thing you gotta like about it, didn't bring the ball down. Right. Three-quarter court pressure. Aguilar just went down, lost the handle all the way to the basket for the easy deuce that time with Zion Gabriel. So what's the recipe for success for Eastside College Prep? You just saw it. You've got to turn your opponent over and take it the other way so the size inside isn't there to hurt you. Full court pressure this time. And now a trap on the sideline, but good job to get away from it by Aguilar on a reach-in foul. Going to be called on Gabriel. Here's the turnover. Can't pick the ball up trying to work the ball up the floor, loses balance, and this team knows what to do with it after they get the turnover. There is no hesitation. They go north and south. Avery O'Neill to inbound, playing with a broken nose she suffered in the playoffs in Southern California. Odima, now wide open look for O'Neill, can't make it off the window. When there's that much size, you gotta get good solid box outs, and you see that out of east side. Hard to the basket this time for the score was Alea Bell. Bell had first 10 first quarter points in the win against St. Joe. She is dynamic. This is the team, as you see right there, that gets after it. 
Leia Bell just stepped in front of that little bit of a lazy pass for Odima. Open tray this time for Mahan. She can't get it, but a second chance for Bell. Once again, the shot is up and good by Mahan. She only averages about five points a game, but she really makes this team go. It's a very, very young team. Eastside College Prep, 19 and 11 on the season. That's O'Neill. She can't get it to drop, but a second chance once again. I beg your pardon, it was not O'Neill. It was Michaela Cacho Negrete with the shot. Here comes Eastside Prep. Mahan once again. A little bit short this time. Eastside Prep will maintain possession. Zion Gabriel the inbound. Zone defense. Not a bad idea. Not when you've got that much size on the baseline and inside. And it is one and done. Tahafe missed the shot. Odimo the rebound. In the corner, and a three-point shot is up and good by Michaela Cacho Negrete. They love her in that corner. She's a 36% three-point shooter. Open once again at the other end. Rayana Bell, but she or Bay rather, but she can't get it to go. Loose ball, run down, and a foul. 5'10 sophomore Cacho Negrete. In one game earlier this year, five of six from three-point range in four games. Excuse me, seven times this year, she made four threes in one game. It's a great balance, stretch the defense with all the size inside. And a turnover, she traveled. And we'll jump off the track here. 3.57 remaining first quarter. It's a seven to six ball game. Still a little bit of nerves on both sides. One point game and we're coming back right after this. Legend says, Thor's hand made a hammer mighty. Well, in some hands, every tool becomes mighty. An all-powerful impact wrench. A supreme on-car lathe. The 4,000 ASE certified technicians of Firestone Complete Auto Care prove a tool's only as good as the hands behind it. Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Hey, bud. Cheryl, looking forward to the weekend? Are you exposing yourself by using your personal phone number as your business line? Personal numbers aren't for work. Add a second number to your smartphone with Sideline. If you have a work phone and a personal phone, that can really cramp your style. Stop carrying two phones. Hello? Add a second number to your smartphone with Sideline. Fifty-seven remaining here in the first quarter, and of course Eastside Prep, no stranger to this final game. Last year they were here in the D5 final. They stayed in the game thanks to some great shooting from Chastity Cunningham, but La Jolla Company Day's Alicia Stiles just made it too tough. Too many big plays down the stretch. The Tories and La Jolla Country Day coming out on top 40 to 36, and you get a look at Donovan Blythe, the coach for nine years at Eastside Prep, and what a great job he has done and continues to do. They lost two players that went on to play Division I college basketball this year, and they are back starting the season with 11 combined freshmen and sophomores. You talk about young, not a whole lot of size. What an accomplishment to get here today. Absolutely. And you talk about that record, too. A little misleading, because they play some teams that are from bigger schools, and they play a pretty tough schedule. Odima comes up a little short on a second chance and is finally yanked out of there by Rayana Bay. They fear no one schedule everyone. And these 545 practices are showing up early. Yeah. That takes dedication in and of itself. Indeed. That's the half A. And she can't get it to go. Struggling a little bit from the field early in this game, but they throw it away, does Village Christian. The key for this game clearly is Village Christian taking care of the basketball, whether you're in the half court, the full court, pushing the ball ahead, taking advantage of your three-point shooters and your size inside. 
This is to half It was Alea Bell who missed that last layup try. Trying to kick up, kick out for Zion Gabriel. The fast hand and out of bounds. It's going to be out of bounds to Village Christian. Say that Eastside Prep touched it last. Substitution as Marani McGuire comes into the ball game now for the Village Christian Crusaders. 2-2-1, full court pressure. This is Back Aguilar. Aguilar hadn't had very many looks so far in this game. Doing a pretty good job picking her up way on the perimeter. Here she takes it to the basket, puts it up and in off the window. You get so concerned about the perimeter shot and the big inside that it really opens up some driving lanes. This is Gabriel. Now Mahan. Taking a look here at Aguilar. Well, we talked about her in the opening. You can see it here, just a little hesitation and a beautiful job of avoiding the charge. Cut it back inside and get the clean look at the bucket. Shoots 44% from the floor. Pass came inside to Alea Bell and she was tied up immediately and the possession arrow will belong to Village Christian. So Village Christian with the ball and a three point lead here. This is Aguilar. Nice job of passing the ball ahead. A lot of turnovers early in this game, but as we said, a little bit of a case of nerves. Too hard off the window that time by Cacho Negrete. And the putback. Average is about 13 a game. That's going to be a block foul on O'Neill. Still non shooting. Village Christian now on a 7 0 run. Biggest lead of the game, five points. Having trouble finding someone to inbound the ball to. <laughs> 2 3 zone. Had a lot of success with that this year. And just tried to force that pass inside, couldn't do it. It's picked off, another turnover. Hegelaw, really nice job stepping into that passing lane and getting the steal. Aguilar comes behind a screen, gets into traffic, leaves it nicely for Odima. Nice help rotation by Tahafe, but unfortunately, when you help, somebody else is open, and when they're big, when they're 6'4", that's points. Nice job, dish it. Penetration, help, recover, no one drops in the hole. And Odima. They don't, they don't have an answer for her right now. No, I'm not sure. The answer is going to be in the pressure. You've got to turn it over up front because if she get the, gets the ball in her hands, it's impossible to stop her. You just don't have anybody that can challenge that shot. Mercy Odima, as you see, was born in Kenya. Has been here since she was a kid, though. Come to think of it, she's still a kid, isn't she? She <laughs> is, speaks three languages, which really helps the transition when you come to a new place. High percentage shooter, shoots 59%. Showing you why today. Second chance this time by Bell, and she can't get it to go, kick it out. Spinning into the lane and coming up short again. Right now, lit on the basket for Eastside 